morning and welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today. As always, today's topic is going to be, I'm going to piggyback off of AV Alpha Villains. Check him out on YouTube at AV Alpha Villains. He was talking about happiness. Happiness. Happiness is an inside job. What does happiness come from? It comes from within you. You think that when you have something, is my camera crooked? Looks a little crooked to me. How about that? Is that better? There you go. Okay. You think sometimes, or most people do, when they get this job, when they get this amount of money, when they graduate from high school, or when they graduate from college, or when they get this car, or this house, or this woman, that they're going to be happy then. But if you're not happy now, guess what? You're not going to be happy then. You may get a feeling of elation or excitement. You may think that's happiness, and maybe that's a little bit, has a little bit to do with happiness. But that's not really what happiness is for a man. A man's happiness is more of a fulfillment a contentment that comes from working hard, striving for a goal, and achieving a goal. Now, does that mean when you get the goal, you're going to be happy? No, it doesn't. The old adage or saying that joy is in the journey is very true, and I've learned that in my life. I've set a lot of goals in my life, and I've achieved a lot of goals. I've basically gotten everything I've ever wanted in life, and I am now in the process of getting other things I want. You're never going to achieve, or let me see, you're never going to satisfy all your wants in life. Because on your deathbed, you may want one more breath, but you're not going to get it. <laughs> so, you're always going to want something up until the day you die. But the trick in life is, if I want, for lack of a better way to say it, is to desire and to want, but to be content and grateful for what you have. And I know you guys have heard me say that before. Everything I have today <clears throat> is something I wanted yesterday. And it goes the same for you. Look around you. Look around your office, your your home, your job, wherever you are, everything in your environment is something you wanted yesterday. Wherever you are was a place you wanted to be. Probably you're working today, or maybe you're in your home today. You wanted that at one time in your life. You wanted that job, you wanted that career, you wanted that home. Maybe you have a family, you wanted that family. You have that today. Now. If you haven't found fulfillment in achieving that and happiness, you won't find it when you have it. If you're not happy now, then how are you going to be happy with this other thing you're putting off in the future that you desire? You have to live and enjoy the present moment and be grateful for what you have today. And that gratitude will instill upon you and inside of you a feeling of happiness. Gratitude is an attitude. If you're around grateful people, it's pretty good to be around grateful people. Now, the contrast of that is being around ungrateful people, people who bitch and complain about everything. Now, am I saying I never get caught up in the complaining? Yes, I do. But whatever you complain about, you bring about. You must catch yourself and stop that. Because happy people don't complain. Many people come here from other parts of the world. Many people die to get to the United States to be here where many people that live here are complaining about. I think everyone should go out of the country to a third world country and live there for a while. You may find you have very little to bitch about here in the U.S., we live in one of the most affluent, prosperous countries in the world. And that is why people die to get here. Every day people are dying, literally dying to get here. Don't complain about the Spanish people crossing the border. They're just trying to get to the promised land. And you live in the promised land. So, 
Think about this the next time you want to bitch about having a flat tire on your car. 85% of the people in the world don't drive cars. Yeah, think about that. Oh, let me see, your water here went out. Many countries don't have running water. They don't have clean water to drink. And we just go turn our faucet on. I could go on and on about that, but that's another video. But appreciate what you have today. You have so much if you live in the U.S. Unless if you live on the streets, but even here, if you live on the streets, it's better than living on the streets in third world countries, I'll guarantee you, because I've seen both. We have food pantries here. You can always find something to eat if you're not too, how would I say, ashamed to ask. How many of you out there in my audience, if someone come up and ask you to buy them something to eat, a homeless person or a bum, whatever you want to call them, you would not buy them something? Of course you would. And I know some of you don't want to give them money because you're afraid they may go buy drugs or alcohol with that. And they may. But if they did, they would at least get a little relief from their distressing, unhappy life. So it doesn't matter. As soon as that money leaves your hands, it's not yours anymore anyway. So whatever they do with it, that's their business. You don't give for them, you give for yourself. Because when you give to someone else like that, that's the same as giving to yourself. And therein lies another secret of happiness, service to humanity. Service to people who will never be able to do anything for you, who will never be able to give back to you what you gave to them. Will you ever be able to give back to your parents what they gave to you? Even if they were shitty parents, they gave you life. They did not abort you. So you're here today. Be grateful that you have a life here today. Be grateful that you live in a, third, um, a first world country and not in a third world country impoverished with little chance of ever getting out of there. You have opportunities here that many people dream about and they will never have. Focusing on what you have, focusing on the goodness in your life you have, the opportunities you have, will expand these things and make them even greater in your life and thus bring about more happiness because if you see them, you will pursue them. And for a man, his fulfillment comes in the striving, the struggle, the achievement, all those things, not just the reaching the goals, not just the achieving of the goals, but in the pursuit of the goals. I would venture to say that most of my fulfillment has come from the process, the journey. Sure, when I've achieved goals that I worked hard for, I felt great when I finished, sometimes. When I ran a marathon, did a couple of those, I didn't feel too great when I finished those. <laughs> so in the reality though, but what I remember is not so much the race, which was very difficult, but I remember the days when I trained with my friends. There was a guy here, he just passed away a while back. He was the high school coach up here and he would train with the boys. And I did a lot of long runs with him. That's what I remember. When I drive down that road and I think about him and I running together and talking together for about 20 miles. That's the memory I have. Not the, not the race that I did the marathon that I finished in a certain time. It, it was the, the journey, the process, the training, the fellowship the relationships. That's what I think about. And when I think about those things, I get a feeling of gratitude. It actually, it, it surpasses happiness. And if you focus on those things, you'll bring more of those things into your life. In contrast to focusing on, I want this. I'll be glad when I get this. Man, how am I going to get this? Get, get, get. Go out in there and Go out in the world and give what you want. If you want to be successful, help other people to be successful. If you want people to push you along, to promote you, promote other people. But don't expect it back from the person you're helping. Give. You want money? Give money away. If you don't have money to give away, and I believe you have something to give away, give away your time because time is more valuable than money anyway. When it comes time to go, I don't care how much money you have, you can't buy any more time. 
You may be able to buy a little better medical care that may get you some more time, but the reality is you cannot purchase time. You can purchase better medical, better medical care. But I tell you what you can purchase that may increase your time is buy organic food or buy the best food you can. Buy no process, eat food that's no process. And I could go on about that for hours, but that's expensive. It does cost a lot more than regular food and hopefully it is organic. So that will give you better health, a better quality of life and will make your journey more pleasurable and um, satisfying taking care of yourself happiness too it's hard to live inside of a body that is out of shape uh, it's tired it's it's worn out and many of you guys are worn out before you get to be 40 i'm 60 years old no i forgot how old i was i was is that what they call senility no okay i've just had so many years i can't remember i'm 62 all right and you guys have heard me say it. I can outwork my boys. I can. I still work out. I still look good. I'm in good shape. I still attract young women because I've taken care of myself. Now, is that because of the way I look? Maybe I'm sure that has something to do with it. But more than that, it's the way I feel. It's the aura. It's the energy I project into the world. Because I feel like I'm somebody. Guess what? People treat me like I'm somebody. I feel like I'm unique, I feel like I'm a 10, and in the reality I am because there are a few 62 year olds that have a six pack. Some people have said I have an eight pack. That few, few people my age are in as great a shape as I'm in and can do what I do. Now, I'm only unique in the fact that I've focused on taking care of myself. All my life when I would see guys when they're 50s and they were ripped, I thought, man, I wanna look like that when I get older. Well, guess what, now I'm older and I look like that. So it was a process. Now, is it because I'm here now that I feel good? No, I'm still striving for more. I'm still striving for more cut. I would like to have a little more uh, bulk, but I weigh the same as I did when I fought as a junior middleweight, when I fought professionally. I was 154, I'm about 155 right now. I may be 154, it's been pretty hot this week. But now when I was doing triathlons, I was 172 but I was swimming and biking so my legs were bigger and my chest was bigger. But when I was that weight, I wanted to be smaller. <laughs> now that I'm 154, which is what I really like being, I thought, well, I wouldn't mind being a little bigger. So there you go right there. It's funny, for years I wanted to be 54, 154. But now I've been here for a while, it's like, man, I would like to be like I was when I was 172 again. But when I was 172, I thought I wanted to be thinner. So the point of this back and forth is this, you're always going to want something different. So appreciate what you have today. I appreciate being this weight. Uh, I have a low body fat percentage. I'm probably about 10 or 12% right now, maybe lower, I haven't measured for a while. I like that. Of course, I would like to be a little more cut too. There again, you have to be happy where you are. Happiness is an inside job. You're not going to get it from that girl that that, that money, that, that uh, career. Now, you may get it from pursuing that career or doing what you love. I love what I do. I have a painting company. I love painting. Now, are there days when things aren't that great? Yes, of course there are. This week has been really rather stressful because we're working real close to home. I mean, like a block away. So that's unusual. That's great. But I've had these little appointments here and there uh, for my Google advertising and different things like that where I have to come home. Uh, the heating and cooling guy's been here twice this week, or he's been here three or four times in the last month. That cost me about a grand. And I had to come here and wait for him. So it's kind of disrupted my pattern is where I like to just go to work, stay there, and then come home. But on the, other, on the other hand of that, I could be grateful that I'm close to home and I can just walk right up here and meet whoever I need to meet or do my uh, Zoom meetings. But it's a little out of the ordinary for me. So this week's been a little bit, I felt a little bit off because the pattern that I developed is kind of screwed up. But that's life. If you, you know, you, you can't know what it's like or you're not always gonna be on the mountaintop. 
You have to experience the lows to enjoy the highs. And the more low the lows are, guess what? The more you're going to appreciate the highs. That's the way life is. Think about life as a heart monitor. I've said this before. When that sucker is going up and down, you're alive, right? That's great. When it's going like this, you're a dead man. And many people are dead men. Many men have no life. They live lives of quiet desperation. That's what I said. Thoreau, Thoreau said that. Most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Yeah, they're desperate to do something other than go to their nine to five job every day to four, whatever it happens to be, third shift maybe. But they do it because they're afraid to take a risk and step out and do what their heart desires. They come up with all the rational reasons why they can't do that. So they logicalize, that's probably not a word, they logicalize themselves out of it. And they don't like their life. Hmm, my nose itches. They don't like their life. What does that mean? Someone's going to give you money? Is that what it means when your nose itches? <laughs> that's an old wives' tale. Um, so if you're living one of those lives of quiet desperation, don't be too dismayed. You can get out of that, but you've got to step through the fear because it's up to you whether you're going to be happy in life. Your happiness will come from you stepping out and striving towards the desires you have in your heart, which you have pushed down with rationalization and logic. Then will you, then and only then will you find the fulfillment and the happiness that comes to a man from pursuing his goals. All right, that's all I have time for today. Like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.